Hello literature lovers, this is a continuation of the topic Tracing our footsteps in African literature. I will cover the second footstep, colonial period. Please listen till the end, you'll definitely have food for thought. Let us sell in. The second footstep is the colonial period. In Lehman's definition, colonialism is where a superior nation or country takes governorship of another country through the use of power and control. Interestingly, the history of colonialism began decades ago during the times of ancient Greece, ancient Rome, and ancient Egypt when they were taking popularity over the other areas. Colonialism then heightened during the Age of Discovery. It is at this time that the Portugal explorers were searching for new trade routes. African colonialism is not any different, as many countries at this time became dominated by the Europeans. It is here then that literature is shaped by open quote, the colonial experience of direct rule and domination by the imperialist power, end quote. It was a time that is still very vivid, to some very livid, where Africa experienced several hardships in its long history that has left a strong impact on the theme of its literature. African literature this time took a different turn where authors, poets from all the corners of the continent, began writing and exploring issues on slave narratives, protests against colonization, calls for independence, African pride and hope for the future. All these led to the rise of African resistance and rebellions of all nature to bring forth independence. Examples include Mau Mau Uprising in Kenya, Maji Maji Rebellion in Tanzania, Lamogi Rebellion in Uganda, Malagasy Uprising in Madagascar, Busa Rebellion in Nigeria, Simba Rebellion in Congo, Angolan War, and Algerian War, just to name a few. Being one of the most pronounced literary periods in Africa, the concept of colonization and the traumas it ingrained in African people, there are a many African literary texts at anyone's disposal. Nonetheless, some of the best books that clearly and meticulously examine the colonial African depth are Travels into the Interior of Africa by Mongo Pak, the Scramble for Africa by Thomas Peckenham, not African though. The Will to Die by Kant Themba, Petals of Blood by Ngogi Thiongo, and of course, Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe, just to name a few. The next video, I'll talk about the third step, the post-colonial period. Kindly subscribe and share this podcast with your family and friends. Thank you and see you next Saturday.